and today we are going to take a look on how we can access our home computer or work computer from anywhere in the world from a mobile phone tablet or any other computer and for that we are only going to use google chrome and for free and easy to set up now if you are using windows and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out keys fan a platform that we have been using for the past few months official om keys at an affordable price windows 10 11 home edition pro edition or even offices link down below with a coupon code that will get you even a better discount now going straight to the point all we need is google chrome and just in case you don't have it yet just go and browse around google chrome in Install it. After that, we will need to search for Chrome Remote Desktop and we will be able to enter this menu that you are seeing on screen. And to give access to our computer, we just need to select Remote Access. It will ask to install an extension, which we will accept, and automatically it will download a small software that we will install in a couple of seconds. Now we just need to give a friendly name to this computer that we want to share, and this is although a simple step an important step if we want to have in the future more than one computer so that we can tell from the computer that we have at home or several computers that we have at home or several computers that we have at work once we select the name I'm using B-Link series 5 which is the computer name that I'm using at this moment and we will need also to select a security pin with a minimum of six Characters. And that is it. Right now, my computer is ready to be accessed by me or anyone that I want to access it from anywhere in the world. And we have two simple ways of accessing it. The first example is if I'm accessing from outside my home on a public computer or any other computer, then the only thing that I need to do is go to the browser and insert my credentials, my email, my Gmail account and password. And that is it. I will have access to the computer's that I have in this particular case only have one yet and it will ask me for the pin and once I do insert the pin I will have access to the full computer I can do everything that I want now if you are accessing from a public computer just a small reminder do not save your email your password or any other pin you will need to put it every time you access it for security reasons but if you are accessing from a safe computer then you can save your credentials and you don't need to waste any time now the second way of accessing it is if I want you to access my computer and for that I just need to go to the remote support where it says share this screen I just need to select generate code and it will generate a one-time code that if I give to you right now you would be able to access my computer with that access code but once you finish your session you will no longer have access to my computer so it's really safe because you will only access if I want and when I I want to and on the same menu if I want to access your computer you also have the option to connect to another computer which is the area that I'm going to put in the code that you share with me so that I can access your computer on that side of the screen and this is it simple as this just using Google Chrome I can use on mobile phone on a tablet on a computer I did test it out on my iPhone 11 Pro and the experience was really fun now I would say that it's not easy to control a Windows computer or a Mac computer using a small screen like a phone but on a emergency I would say that yes it's better than not having access at all my feedback is that the best is try it for yourself but what I felt is that the screen is very small but the developers did a great way I can emulate the left click on anywhere of the screen I just need to drag and then click and it will close or open the app that I want and if I want to emulate the right click I just need to do the same but with two fingers at the same time but once again, I would try it for yourself and see how easy it is and the experience. Now, if you want to share a certain computer, you will have to have Windows or Mac OS. But if you want to access, then it doesn't matter the operating system that you have and doesn't matter the device that you have. So this is the only limitation that we will find. And hopefully this will help you to access your computer at home or on your work from a remote location. And if it was helpful, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.